hey, it's fall. It's time to start thinking about the fall fashions and the things that we need to go out and buy. So we're going to talk about that when we get back. Okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, CLM 2 for Style with Power, the channel that helps empower men through style. And if you're into videos that talks about style, talks about fashion, talks about empowerment, and talks about mindset, well, this is the channel for you. So, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, and hit the little notification bell, so you'll know every time we upload a video. Hey, happy fall. And as you can see, I went out and put on my fall scarf and I got on my fall hat. And we're gonna talk about some of the accessories that we need to go out and purchase this fall that's gonna make your fashion and your style look really, really good. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is hats and caps, all right? So let's get into it. Well, let's first talk about our hats and caps. As you can see here, I have my brown uh, hat here. I, I, I love to wear these hats. This is a great one right here. I think this one is by Polo. I see the Polo logo on the side here. And um, I love to wear these hats. Just kind of throw it on and it kind of gives you a nice dignified look. And when I buy my caps and my hats, I try to buy them in different colors, right? I try to buy them with different colors, but usually the main colors, the fall colors, the brown, and I have this one here in black also. So throw this on here in black. And it's really nice. It's wool, so it's nice and warm. It keeps you nice and warm in the winter time. It covers your head in the winter time. So I like to get these. These are really, really nice. And you can pick these up at a lot of the men's stores. Uh, wherever you go to shop, you can probably find these hats. So I would advise you to go pick up a couple of these. You can throw this on. It really gives you a nice stylish look. And then, of course, we have our caps. And I love to wear this cap. I usually wear this with my wool jacket uh, or my wool overcoat. I like to wear my cap and just throw that on. You put a little, always put mine a little bit to the side. And I also buy the, the, the fall colors. The, got it in black. I have it in blue, of course. Um, uh, leather, you know, you gotta get your leather. You go with your leather jacket, you have a leather jacket, right, and leather. And I have an older one. This one is in suede, right? Have the brown suede. So, um, you know, I'm wearing beige and brown today. Let's see how this looks. This is an older one. Back in the day, I had this for a long time. It's kind of wide. So every now and then I'll throw that on to bring back some nostalgia. Kind of makes me feel like back in the uh, 70s when they used to wear these type of caps. And I actually bought this one probably in the 90s. So I had this hat for a long, long time. But, you know, I like this one. And, of course, I have my, my black suede. I have a, you know, I like to wear suede. And I have suede, uh, suede sneakers and suede shoes. I like to throw this one on right here. So don't forget, go out there and purchase you some nice hats and some nice caps for the fall. And it really, really makes your outfit looks great. Okay, so the next accessory that we're gonna talk about are belts. And I'm still a belt guy. I've been noticing that in the fashion world that they're going without belts, but wearing pants with belt loops. And I'm just not gonna follow that trend. I believe if you have belt loops, you should definitely have a belt to go in those belt loops. So when you go out and you buy your belts, make sure that you go out and you buy nice, strong leather belts. Uh, and I like to get them in different colors, right? But I, I get, you know, the, the usual colors, the browns, the blacks, right? And I usually buy them in, in different buckles, the gold and the silver. So this is a gold brown belt, it's a little bit on the thin side. So for those pants, usually dress pants have a smaller belt loop. So you get a thin, a thinner belt. Uh, this is my go-to belt here. This is a Kenneth Cole belt. I love this belt. I've had this for a while. It has a beautiful, nice shine to the leather. So I love this. And this is a two-tone, so you can actually flip it. And you got the brown on one side and you got the black on the other. So this is my go-to belt. I wear this belt usually every day. 
And it goes with my outfits, the brown, the black, shoes you know, that I usually wear. So definitely go out and get yourself a nice belt like this. It's Kenneth Cole, really, really nice belt. Now, you're wearing jeans or you're wearing some corduroy or something like that, you wanna get a thicker belt. So I went and I got this belt here. And this is a nice belt. This is also, you can flip this, right? So you got the brown on one side, got the black on the other side. And as you notice, it's a wider belt. So this is the type of belt that you wear with jeans or you wear this belt with some corduroys, right? And this is a nice belt. This is, this is my second go-to belt. I usually throw this one on. So I like that belt also. And like I said, the different buckles, right? So this is another gold buckle. Had this belt for a while, nice black belt. Has a nice shine to it. And this is the belt I wear with jeans every now and then. And it has a cordovan look here. Um, a raw hide look, right? Kind of rough look, so I wear this with my jeans also. And then I have the wine colored belt. So with the wine shoes. So definitely go out there and get yourself some nice belts. Um, I have a whole stack of them. You know, I like to have belts, I like these accessories. Get yourself some nice belts. It goes with your outfits and it kind of just brings out your outfit, make sure that everything is in order. And the last accessory that we're gonna talk about is the scarf. So uh, really go out there and get yourself some nice scarves. This really ties your outfit, especially on, on your outerwear. It really ties it into your outfit. And if you don't know how to wear the scarf, very simple, you take the scarf, you fold it in half like this, with a little ring at the end, and then you put it around the neck and you throw that inside the ring. And you do this, and this really will keep you nice and warm, nice and tight, all right? So this is really, really nice scarf that you, this is how you wear the scarf. And uh, I advise everyone to go out to get you some scarf. Get the usual suspects, of course. My black scarf here, and I have another blue one, right? Black and blue, and of course, brown. Brown knit scarf, I like that one and a black knit scarf. And then I just recently went out and I got this nice red one. And you know, I love the color red, it's in my logo, All right? So get yourself a nice red scarf and I bought these scarves. So definitely go out there and get yourself some nice scarves to go with your overcoat, it go with your jacket, but it just kind of ties up or ties everything together and you get yourself some nice scarves. So the last thing that we're gonna talk about is an individual who I met who did a presentation at the Higher Education Institute that I work at and I was so impressed with her. You know, I'm always impressed when I meet young people that have great thoughts and great conversation and she was one of those individuals. She was at the school doing a presentation on, um, on, on trying to get your dream. She would talk to the students about achieving their dream job. And she actually wrote a book, and the book is called Guide to College Life, More Than Majors, right? And How to Secure Your Dream Job. And um, I didn't see the presentation, but I met her afterwards, and she came, she sat with me, and we spoke for about two hours. Her name is Inger Stapleton. Inger Stapleton, I-N-G-E-R, Inger. Very interesting name. But I was really impressed with her. Um, and one thing that really impressed me about her is that when I told her how impressive she was, when I, once I learned more about her, um, she loved the program that we were running there and she recommended for us to bring in another speaker, a male speaker to come and speak to our young men. And that impressed me because she wasn't thinking about herself first she thought about others. And I think that's why she's doing the work that she's doing by going around and doing all these speaking engagements to help young people uh, achieve their dreams. And I was so impressed with that, that um, I'm definitely gonna bring her in and gonna have her do a workshop. And I actually want to interview her for this show because I think all of you need to meet this young lady and you may wanna hire her so she can come and speak to your young students because she really has an interesting story and she really has this, um, she really has all the steps that it's gonna take for people to achieve their dreams. Uh, she's a professor at Manhattanville College, so um, she's already doing good work. She has a book out, it's called More Than Majors, How to Achieve Your Dream Drop, 
and um, she's doing some great work. So her name is Inger Stapleton, and I'm quite sure you're gonna hear more about her in the future. So that's our show for today. Um, I thank you guys for listening. I thank you guys for coming out. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the channel. Please let others know about the channel. Once again, we're looking to empower our young men uh, out there so that they can be better in fashion and style and in mindset so that we can create a better nation of young people going forward. All right? And I will see you guys next Monday.